everyone my name is Japneet Kaur and welcome and welcome back to this in Canada I hope you are all staying safe and are doing fine in this video we will talk about the student who want to do PhD from Kankan University so keep in mind that I came to Canada to do masters from University of Waterloo but there was some PhD student who were taking courses with us and also I made few friends who were doing PhD from University of Waterloo so all the information and knowledge I will be sharing is what I collected during my interaction with the PhD student at University of Waterloo. So after watching this video, you will have some idea about what are the admission requirements about PhD student to get admission in Canadian University. You will get idea about top universities which are offering PhD universities which are very research intensive. And also I will be sharing some information about PhD funding in Canadian universities. And at the end, we will talk about what are the job prospective after doing PhD from Canada. And at the end, if you have any any question please feel free to comment in the comment section and I will be replying to each and every comment so without any further ado let's start our video so let's first quickly talk about what are the top universities in Canada for PhD students so there are many research intensive universities in Canada but the top research universities in Canada are University of Toronto University of Waterloo, McGill University, Dalhousie University, University of Saskatchewan, University of Manitoba and UBC University. There are many other universities like University of Alberta, Calgary, Simon Fraser University, Victoria University. Those are also very good universities. So now let's talk about what are the admission requirements in order to get admission in Canadian universities to do PhD. So firstly, you need to have good score, good CGPA in your master's degree. A good percentage means like 78% or higher to get admission in PhD. Some universities or some programs may even require you to have 80% or higher in your master's degree in order to get admission in PhD. So it is very important that you look for your program specific requirement and also look for university you want to, you wish to apply for because every university every program within that university will have different admission requirement and it is very difficult for me to discuss all of those in a single video the second admission requirement is about english proficiency examination you can give ielts you can give toefl if you are giving ielts you need at least 6.5 to 7 band in order to get admission in phd for example, University of Toronto may require to you to have 7 IELTS band in order to get admission. University of Waterloo has about 6.5 requirement to get admission. So it is very important that you check your program specific requirement. And the third requirement is you have to give reference letter that is letter of recommendation. You need at least three letter of recommendation or references which you have to give to university in order to get admission now some universities may ask you to give all the three references from your academics or some universities may ask you to give two references which are your academics references and the one can be either academics or professional and the fourth requirement will be GRE for example, University of Toronto would require you to give GRE in order to get admission in PhD. It might not be true for all the programs, but for few programs, they require you to give GRE. But there will be some universities and I think mostly in Canadian universities, they don't require GRE. But it is very important that you look for the admission requirement, which universities would require GRE or which not. So make sure you follow all the admission requirement in order to apply for PhD. The last admission requirement is supervisor, which is very important. Some universities will ask you to find supervisor beforehand, even before you can apply. Make sure you have a supervisor, make sure you email the supervisor and look for the program and look for the specialization you want to do PhD in. If you want to do research in some specific field, write to the professor why you want to do research in that field. Ask about the professor whether he or she is taking any more PhD student. Tell about yourself in an email. 
you should also attach your resume or other documents if required but please do research about the professor research about the field you want to study in and then email your professor so some universities might ask you to find your professor your supervisor beforehand and some universities will ask you to apply for the phd and they will give you a conditional offer letter till you find a supervisor once you find the supervisor they will give you a final offer letter but finding a supervisor is a very important important part of application process for phd student or research student generally speaking you can complete your phd in 4 to 5 years but there is also another option if you directly want to get admission in phd after doing your bachelor's that means you don't have to do your master's degree and you can directly go and do phd if you are currently doing bachelor's and you like to do research and you think that your aim is to do phd and if you have a good cgpa in your bachelor's degree you can directly apply for phd but you have to make sure that universities do accept the direct admission for phd and also you need a very good cgpa in your bachelor's degree and also you have to realize that you will complete your phd in longer duration than other students who have completed the masters if a student who have completed their masters will be doing phd they can complete their phd in 5 years it will take you 6 years to complete the phd but it will save you lot of money and some time to do masters because masters require more work masters will require more fees but you can directly do phd without doing masters but you might also have to complete some courses specified by the universities if university felt that in your bachelor's you haven't completed the course which are required to get admission in phd so there are two ways you can get admission after masters which we all know that you can do phd after completing masters or you can even do phd after completing your bachelor's now let's quickly talk about the funding for phd student generally speaking lot of funding is available for phd student in almost all the universities but the requirement the eligibility the criteria for funding how much funding will be provided will depend upon university to university if you will be completing your phd within the time within the duration your university specify you will get funding for all those years but if by chance or for some reason you were not able to complete your phd in the duration specified by the university or the extra year you took to complete your phd i don't think so the university will provide you the funding for that year so if you are coming to do phd try to complete your phd within the duration specified by your university also some universities will require you to maintain certain cgpa so that you get funding regularly but it will definitely depend upon university to university what are the criteria what is the eligibility required so some universities will even provide you the breakdown of funding package funding package in the beginning of each year so that you have clear vision that when you will receive money so that you can focus on your research it will also depend on your supervisor who will be providing you the funding apart from funding provided by the university or your department you can also apply for ta ship that is teaching assistant and most of the phd student either do ta or research assistant and they earn along with when they are doing the phd so it is a very good way to earn extra money while you are doing phd phd is definitely very hard to do you have to write thesis to you have to defend them i don't know a lot about phd but i definitely know that it requires a lot of energy lot of research to do so definitely all the universities help you a lot so now let's talk about what are the job prospect after completing phd to be very honest i feel like Getting job could be a little difficult after completing PhD, especially if you want to go towards industry side. The PhD student I knew they all went towards the academic job occupation like research assistant, 
lab assistant or few phd student who really get job in industry because doing phd is a very high level of education and matching that pay scale is very difficult so you might feel a little bit discouraged that you have completed phd but you are not getting that level of pay scale but trust me once you will get job and as you will move on to higher and higher position you will get a good pay scale also there are many students who do post doc after completing their phd which is again a higher level of education and also many students our professors in universities have done phd so many students like to become professors in university and trust me university professors have very high pay scale very high pay scale but to be very honest i don't know how much time it takes to become professor or you might have to give more exams or get a license in order to become professor in canadian university there must be a process in order to become professor but once you become professor in any university pay scale is very good i hope you like this video i hope you enjoy i hope you gain some knowledge after this video if you like this video hit that thumbs up button do subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye